Hey everyone, this is Chris Stobing from PCMac.com and today we're going to be teaching you how you can customize the start menu in Windows 10. Um, so we have a companion article on this and as we mentioned there, uh, Windows 10 is a complete revamp of the start menu from uh, previous iterations both in Windows 8, Windows 7, uh, and beyond. Um, Microsoft put a lot of effort into creating the start menu as sort of like an e evolution of their, their previous Metro styling. Uh, which means the inclusion of things like live tiles and um, you know your standard start menu options as well as you know as far as um, quick links and your apps and um, the ability to access settings and power options and all that. Uh, but what's really interesting is the tiles because this is where you can sort of add things that you use on a daily basis or need uh, to have quickly available to you. Um, you know, at a moment's notice, so you can just jump down to start and uh, be able to get it right off the bat. Um, so there's not a ton of options, but there are still a few that a lot of people like to know about. So the first is obviously just resizing. So you can bring the mouse over to the very edge of the screen and then pull like that. So basically what you're doing is you're taking all the menu items that are usually down here, if it's the slimmest version, which is this, and then you pull it and then everything gets shoved over to the side. And you can actually go, sorry, you can actually go uh, quite a bit further. Um, if you have a lot of items or a lot of live tiles, there's uh, tons of options. Um, you can just keep adding things in here. Um, another thing people like to do is they like to just take, you know, some of their favorite games and then throw them over here. Or apps or whatever it may be, um, just so they can, every single time they open the start, they just have a full uh, spread of everything that they need to do on their PC. Um, it's good for power users, not so much for the average user, but it's still something that people like to do. Uh, next is choosing, pretty pretty simple, uh, just choosing which, which icons are, are um, on your start menu. So what you're going to want to do for that, pretty obvious, just right click it and then unpin from start and then it's gone. Um, and in order to get to get it back, you actually do have to go back and find it and then bring it back over here. Um, and you can do this with anything. So that was a that was an icon that I removed. Uh, if you want to put, let's say, solitaire over here, you can, uh, and if it's already pinned, you're not gonna be able to because it'll say that it's already there. So this is some stuff that um, makes it makes Windows 10 a lot more user friendly, uh, makes it so you sort of get the best experience out of it possible, and it definitely gets rid of uh, those really annoying Metro tiles that pretty much everyone hated. Uh, so that's something you can do, and then also there's another um, there's another option which I actually like a lot, which is the ability to uh, resize. So that or that you have small or medium, it's not too much. Um, or, but with the different tiles, there are uh, large options, but these are pretty much limited to uh, Windows apps. So, for example, let's say, you know, there, there's the, um, the icon right here. Uh, this I can only make, uh, oh, sorry, that's going to launch. Uh, I can only make this small or medium. Um, when it's a Windows 10 app, like say the store, OneNote, uh, the sports app, whatever it may be, uh, you can actually change that up to large or wide or whatever it is. Um, and from here, you can also do things like turning the live tile on or off. So if you don't want these to be um, scrolling things, like so I have my live, t my live Twitter tile here. Uh, I personally don't really care whether or not this is constantly updating and if you're on a restricted data plan say on a tablet or your laptop or something like that these live tiles they do eat up data um, they need to constantly refresh from the internet in order to get the data that gets thrown to them so if you are on a limited data plan again on a mobile device or you just kind of don't need the feature um, you can actually save yourself a little bit of data a little bit of hassle and doesn't really slow anything down but um, you can uh, you can turn that off and then that's just the icon now. Um, yeah, and again, these can be p positioned pretty much however you want. Um, they are kind of static in that they will, there's about three positions you can do for uh, a couple different sizes. But overall, there's quite a bit of flexibility. They have added a lot of new features to this. Um, as far as what people have liked in Windows 10 and what they haven't, the start menu has been a huge, uh, huge success. Of course, there's going to be a few people out there who complain about it. But overall, uh, people have loved all the additions to the start menu. Um, 
And so the last thing that I want to show you is just real quick. So for these, like you're going to have, so if you bring it back, you're only going to have the one and then you can kind of do it here and here. And if you have the wide like that, um, you can organize your tiles into, uh, into groups, which is also pretty useful. So I don't really use my start menu that aggressively. Um, but if you were to say, put like your Xbox things over here, you could label this, you know, all, all my games. And then you could just have a, a huge scroll of all your games lined up and, you know, bring this one over here, however it may be. Um, and then each, each one of these sections will have pretty much what you want. So let's say you have Twitter and Facebook and uh, whatever else over here, you could name this social media and then now that's your social media group this is your gaming group um these are all things that you can do to sort of personalize your system make it easier to use make it easier to organize um and generally just make the the whole process of using windows a little bit quicker so if you like any more like our tips or tricks uh, go on the forum and give us some feedback and we're always open to comments